So let's continue. Um, what was I talking about though? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be talking about my scars and surgery from weight loss. So for those of you that don't know, I've lost a total of 135 pounds naturally through diet and exercise. So a lot of you think that I've had weight loss surgery, and even though there is nothing wrong with it, I've never had weight loss surgery. I've actually had skin removal surgery, which is very different. Um, weight loss surgery is of course like a, it can be a gastric bypass, a lap band, something that helps assist you with your weight loss um, process. And um, what I did was I lost all my weight through um, dieting and exercising, and then I had excess skin and then I had a tummy tuck. So I've actually had skin removal surgery. Yes, I've had a tummy tuck. I have also had a um, thigh lift. So I carry a lot of my weight on my lower half of my body to so have, you know, like I'm just heavy, bottom heavy. And so even when I was really overweight, that's where I carried most of my weight. So. I think back then, ugh, I think my jeans were about like, a, in men's, it was about a 46, and I'm talking about tight. And in women's, I was like a 28. So for those of you, um, you know, that know about like bigger sizes, that that's how big like my lower half um, was. And of course I was big all around, but most of my weight was carried down there. So anyway, I did have skin removal on my inner thighs, and um, I didn't have a full, um, I don't even know what it's called, but um, there are surgeries where basically, I'll show you my leg, like there are scars that go, I don't know if you could see that, that run like from your knee basically all the way into your inner thigh. Um, I did not have that. Um, my surgery was just kind of on my upper inner thigh because it was just a lot of excess skin there. And I did have um, some skin removal on my arms um, that was also, you can also have like an arm lift that goes all the way down here and then into your, into your um, armpit. But mine was a scar that's about, I would say three inches or so. Or so. And um, anyway, my scars, and I will share uh, my scars with you guys. I'll show you um, a clip or a, photo of my like tummy tuck scar because I know that's what you guys really want to re are always asking about. I actually had my tummy tuck when I was eight, 19 years old. So I was super, super young. I'm 36 now. And um, so a lot has changed since then. And unfortunately for me, I am just one of the lucky ones that has a skin, um, a scarring, a bad scarring tendency. So my scars tend to be darker, they tend to be bigger, um, and it's probably just due to my skin pigmentation and um, just my body. I do have some um, some questions that you guys asked on Instagram and I will be answering those as well. I just kind of wanted to go over the basic information that I think you guys would just be curious or interested in knowing, especially if you're possibly thinking about getting a tummy tuck or any type of surgeries. In terms of tummy tuck, so let's say you have been, you're super curious, you're on your weight loss journey, and you're afraid of loose skin. Okay, so there's a few things that I've learned over the years that you can do that might really, really help you with um, like the loose skin. So first off, one of the biggest things that can be super, super helpful when you're on a weight loss journey is fasting. So fasting, you have to look into it because that would be a whole different video, but um, when you're fasting and your body is um, goes into a state of autophagy, what you do is like your body is a self healer. And if you fast while you're on your weight loss journey, so let's just say you're doing keto and intermittent fasting, that's amazing. It's going to already help. But if you're really, really focused on wanting to tone up your skin or just not have so much loose skin, then you should definitely look into doing extended fasts because that really helps. Like there are people um, and you can probably look them up here on YouTube. Um, if I find one, I might link it just so that you guys can see it. But 
Um, there are people who lose over a hundred pounds and all, hardly have any loose skin because they did it through fasting. But they, they're, instead of like being a keto focused weight loss, it was almost like a fasted um, focused weight loss with keto. So they were basically like fasting one, um, fasting for one day, eating one day, fasting one day. So alternate day fasting. Then there's some people who would do just straight one week of fasting. And then they would like, you know, um, once they broke their fast, they would go into keto. So anyway, there's just so many different styles. It's really just going to depend on what you like, but that is an option for someone who let's say you're like, I'm on a weight loss journey, but there's no way in heck I'd be able to afford a tummy tuck now. Okay. Then there are, there are still options. You can fast like that will help your, and again, I'm not like a doctor or anything like that. So, um, it's just a disclaimer. So make sure that you guys, you know, um, talk to your doctor and your, your practitioner, um, your general practitioner about like all of this, but this is just from what I've learned over the years. I know that fasting can help with loose skin. So with tummy tucks, here's the thing. Like, I know a lot of you might look at my Instagram photos from before and you're like, oh my gosh, like I totally love the way your belly looks. And um, honestly, I like the way my belly looks when I'm not bloated and you know, I'm kind of like eating on track and I'm not having carbs and things like that or too many desserts. Um, but I just wanna let you guys know that I've worked really, really hard at the in the gym to get my stomach to look the way it does now. Um, when I first got my, when I first had my tummy tuck, it did not look the way my stomach looks now. Like I definitely looked puffy. I didn't look like in shape, right? Because like you can't go get surgery and then look like you're toned and fit. That comes from, you need to work at it. So don't get, um, what's the word? Like, I don't want you guys to see photos online and think like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go get my surgeries done and I'm going to look like this. Like. I literally, after I had my tummy tuck, I worked out for, I would say at least an hour a day for over 10 years, every single day. I did like 2000 crunches. I mean, I was, I've always had like more of an obsessive personality. So I know a lot of you are probably not like that, but like I would do Stairmaster for 45 minutes, hop off there, go do some, you know, go do crunches with weights and then go and do some machines and then go back and do more crunches because I was like obsessed with toning up my stomach. Um, so I just want you guys to be realistic about what you're, about what to expect. Like you're not gonna go get a tummy tuck and then look like you are fit. You know what I mean? Um, of course, you're gonna get rid of the, the skin and that's great, but it's not going to, look like mine unless you are also just like focus you're like yes i'm you're going to the gym you're working out your abs you're just like on a journey to not only get smaller but like you're on a journey to become physically fit um so that's the only thing that i would definitely say like make sure you guys are realistic with your expectations because the last thing i want you to do is go spend all this money and then you're like oh, like i don't look like her you know, because we're all different. And remember, I carry a lot of my weight on my lower body. So you might not be as small like I am in the midsection, but you also don't have cellulite like I do on my legs. You know what I mean? So like always just be realistic. And like, if you're comparing your, which we shouldn't, okay? We should not be comparing ourselves to anyone, but it's natural. Like I do it. I know my friends do it. Like we do it as women. Like we've been almost like programmed to always compare ourselves to other people. Right? So at least be realistic and don't compare yourself to like a Victoria's secret catalog. Right? Which is what I did growing up. And I will talk to you guys about all that and a separate video, but it really, really led to unhealthy thoughts and unhealthy eating patterns and habits and things that I'm not really proud of. But of course I want to share that with you because I want you guys to know my raw and real journey on how I've gotten to where I am today. With that being said, I'm going to answer some of your questions that you guys have regarding tummy tucks, surgeries. So one of you said, I got a tummy tuck, but I'm still super swollen. Any suggestions? So, 
Obviously, again, this is 18 years ago, but I remember being super swollen. If you guys wanna know how painful it was, um, I would say it, it is a painful surgery. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I am pretty, I would say I can tolerate pain really well. Um, I actually, when I had um, my surgery, I think I might have taken some pain meds for the first two or three days. And then I was just like able to handle the pain on my own because I don't like medications and I try to not take them if I don't have to. Um, in terms of swelling, I remember being very swollen and I think it took months for that to, for the swelling to come down. Um, what I would say, and my tip just from personal experience is, um, eat a ketogenic life, like a ketogenic diet when you're, rec when you're recovering from a surgery because a keto diet is anti-inflammatory. So your body will, you know, it will help with the healing process so you don't have a ton of inflammation. So um, that's just a suggestion. If you had a tummy tuck or you're thinking about having a tummy tuck, when you come out of surgery, I would definitely try to keep your diet, um, you know, super, super low carb or keto, even if you're not keto and you're just thinking about doing it just for that period of time so that you can heal as fast as possible. And then another question um, that you guys had is, did you have skin removal surgery and where? And of course we already answered that. You guys know I had um, skin removal surgery on my stomach. So tummy tuck on my thighs, which is a thigh lift and then on my arms. I forgot what's, what that's called, but um, yes I did. And that's where I had them. Okay, and then will you ever share your tummy tuck scars? So yes, I will. Um, I think that you guys have been asking long enough and I'm finally um, at a point where, yes, I feel comfortable showing you guys my scars. I'll show you guys possibly a photo here and I will dedicate a video to my scars and also um, the journey that I'm going to take on to redo all my scars. So I'll bring you, I'll bring you guys along on that journey and, um, see how that goes. Because from what I've heard, there are just, um, now lasers and creams and different things that we can do for, um, for scarring. Um, okay. So yeah, that's, um, what I have to say about my scars. Now, in terms of how much I paid for my surgery, remember this was like 18 years ago. I was such a kid, but I've always just been the type of person where like, when I get something in my head, like I need it at that moment and I will do whatever it takes to, to get it done. So I, um, so my surgery was for my tummy tuck. It was like 8,500. Um, and I think back then, I don't know what they cost now, but I'm pretty sure they might be maybe running upwards of like 13,000 or something like that. But remember back then it wasn't as common. So like plastic surgery was not as common as it is now. I was just like a loca and I was like, I need to do this. And you know, I don't want to be walking around with like my skin and stuff because I was so young. I was like, I have my whole life ahead of me. Like I have to do this. So, um, anyway, I paid I think it was 6,800 for that. Um, and like an additional 3,500 for my arm. Anyway, I ended up taking out like a loan and I had a I worked at a staffing agency back then. And so I was basically working to pay off my, my surgery loans and school and stuff like that. But, um, anyway, I think altogether I ended up paying about 15,000 for, for my, um, for my surgeries. Um, but yeah, nowadays I think for something like that, you're probably looking at, I don't know, depending on the doctor, but remember now it's a lot more common. So back then a breast augmentation was like 89, like $9,000. And now you could probably get one for like five or 6,000 because it's just so much more common. Um, so yeah, that's what I paid back then. Yes, there are some doctors also in TJ. You guys know I go to TJ a lot. I'm always in Tijuana, I'm always going to Cabo, and um, there are surgeons out there, you just have to do your do your research. Um, I haven't personally, um, you know, gotten any of my stuff done out there, so I don't personally know anyone, but of course, if you guys know someone and you wanna help out some of, you know, the ladies in here, then comment down below and let us know. I'd love to know um, if you guys know anything about scar treatment, um, because that's my biggest thing, are scars. Um, you know, I will see if I can show you a little, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but this is like what my scar looks like right here. So I will show you in, in, um, 
a video like a full just you know some shorts and stuff where you guys can see all my surgery all my scars um but yeah i mean at this point i'm like you know what it is what it is if this is what my body how my body reacts it's there's nothing i can do about it you know so I can't sit there and be like, oh my gosh, woe is me. Like everyone gets them and you know, gets this done and they have no scars. Okay, I did. And it is what it is. So um, yeah, so that's that. I mean, I am gonna have my scars redone um, and I will bring you guys along on that journey. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below and let me know if you guys wanna know any additional information regarding my weight loss journey. Of course, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. I share a lot more of just like my personal life on there. I do like daily vlogs in my stories, just kind of give you a glimpse into my everyday life. And I hope that you guys are already subscribed here on YouTube. Uh, make sure that you do turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss any of my videos. But guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.